Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by for another home decor haul of mine. I have some fun finds to share with you guys. I hope that you will all enjoy this video. Let's jump right in and get started. Here is my first find. This was found at TJ Maxx and obviously this is a wooden sign for the laundry room. I've been focusing a lot of my attention lately on giving the laundry room a refresh, bringing in some new organization, painting it, just changing things up to utilize the space better, and also just kind of refresh the whole look of it. Give it more of a cozy and warm, clean look. So the sign, of course, is going down there. I have been filming as I've been refreshing down in the laundry room, so you will see this sign again, hopefully sooner than later. All of these refresh projects are taking me so much longer than I even anticipated. I love the stain that the wood has, but especially paired with the black wording. I think it just gives it such an edgy, modern, yet still like rustic-y farmhouse look. It has this chain where it can be hung by. I'm not really sure if I will hang it or if I will just lean it up on a shelf. Next up, I purchased these two cutting boards. Nothing to them. They're black and speckled. Um, I just needed some new cutting boards. I have quite the collection of wooden cutting boards but I mainly use those for decoration, or if I'm creating a cheese, an appetizer spread, I'll use those. So I was definitely in the market for some actual usable cutting boards, and I thought that these were perfect. I love the look of them. They're nice and big, they're dishwasher safe, and I found these at Home Goods. Next up, I purchased some Bath & Body Works wallflower plugins, and then the little like refill packs. I loved the sleek, an effortless look of this little wallflower. Um, I love the matte black color that this has. It's just so simple. In the past, I have purchased so many wallflowers that were shiny or glittery or colorful, and now I am just opting for the more simple, sleek look. This one was actually the cheapest one as well, so it was definitely a win-win. I'm really excited to start using these again. It's been a while since I've use these inside of my home. Real quick, here are the scents that I chose. I purchased three of the Mahogany Coconut. I love this scent. It's such a fun, fresh scent for summer, I think. Then I purchased two of the Fresh Cut Lilac scent. Again, such a beautiful, appropriate uh, scent for the summertime. I purchased one Pacific Ocean Air and one Sunshine and Lemons. The Ocean Air scent is very like crisp, and refreshing uh, and then that sunshine and lemons scent of course is a very nice and clean scent especially for the kitchen and then the last two scents that I chose are these white tea and sage I thought that these were perfect for this time of the year which is kind of like transitioning between winter and spring it's just like a nice refreshing smell. All right, next up, I picked up this globe from TJ Maxx. I have been on the search for a nice little globe to bring inside of my home, one to use as home decor, but I also think my son, who is eight years old, is going to really enjoy kind of like looking at this and just comparing where we are in the world, which is Chicago, Illinois, compared to all of the different spots that are in the world. So I think that this is going to be a fun learning tool for him. I definitely made sure to get one that is made out of wood so I don't have to be too careful with it. I did come across a lot of really beautiful glass globes and ones that were a little bit more delicate, ones that had like a marble base. Um, and even though I thought that those were so beautiful and unique looking, I wanted to find something that I know I would let my son use because that was the main intent with purchasing a globe. It's, I really like the look of this. I love all of the colors that the globe itself has. And then I also really like this matte black metal stand paired with the wooden base. This was found at TJ Maxx and it was $14.99. All right, next up, let's talk candlesticks and candle holders. Why? Because I have been bringing a lot of them into my home lately. I am just loving the big and bold statement that these oversized candlesticks and candle holders make to a room, to a space. So I found these metal matte black 
set of three candle holders from Hobby Lobby. These have a really good weight to them, and like I said, they're just so stunning, especially grouped together. I think that it adds such a classic, romantic look. So originally, the small size was $15.99 at Hobby Lobby. The medium size was $17.99, and I believe the larger size was $19.99. I purchased them when they were all 50% off. All right, I had to set these ones down on their sides just because they're so big they wouldn't fit standing up in the screen. These are another set of three candle holders. I came across all of these at Home Goods. They are painted a beautiful white color. There you can see a little bit more of the detail that these have as well as the distressing. I'm sure you guys will see these wooden candle holders as well as those black uh, metal candlesticks in upcoming home tours um, but these I think will definitely be part of my like year-round home decor collection for quite a while all right and then I have one more candle holder to share with you guys unfortunately with places like TJ Maxx and home goods um, you might not find as many as you're looking for so with this one in particular I was only able to find one so this one is so heavy it is made out of stone uh, this one was shockingly only $14.99 which given its size and given its weight and all of the detail that it has I thought was such a good price I love using candles throughout my house I just love the coziness that they bring and another thing that I like using these four is little plant stands. I think that placing them on a candle holder like this just adds some character, some uniqueness, and definitely gives those little faux plants some height. Next up, I found these two picture frames. These are so different from one another, but I love them both. The one on the left fits an 8x10 photo. It was $9.99. And then the one on the right hand side fits a 5x7. I believe this was $6.99. I loved the 8x10, the one on the right, because it has those really beautiful distressing marks to it. But I think what attracted me the most to this one is how like deep the photo actually sits compared to the surrounding frame. Hopefully that's making sense. But I guess I just like how sunken in the photo will look in a frame like this and I like that the detail, the distressing goes um, throughout those inner sides. And then this one I thought was so cute as well. I think that this is probably my favorite color stain for wood. Um, it's just like a cool toned, soft, muted brown. I love it paired with both white and black. So this is just like an effortless color for me inside of my home. I also really love the two little hanging heart details that this has. I think it just gives it such a cute and fun, unique look. So that about does it for this home decor haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you could please give this video a big thumbs up, I would really, really appreciate that. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you all in my next video. And until then, take care. Bye.